Hello. This will be the start of a series where I practice suturing. I decided to document it and see how much I improve from day one to in a couple of years, I guess. So I want to be a decent surgeon one day. <laughs> so one of the basics, basic techniques is suturing. Easy to do, easy to learn, I guess, at home. So yeah, I'll be recording my first suturing, or at least trying to, I don't know if I'll do it today. I've been practicing just handling the tools, uh, all, like operating, palming the needle driver, this right here, needle driver. Nice little tool, it's got serrated teeth on one end, and it locks, it's a locking mechanism. Once it's locked, uh, you you basically take a bite of the needle, you hold the needle, it's called a needle driver, you hold it, lock it in, and then you can drive it however you want. Another tool, most common tool, is the Addison's forcep. I don't think my camera is good enough to pick it, pick up the details, but uh, they're like notches. They're like notches on either end. One end, this end has one, this one has two. It looks something like this. It's like one teeth here, and then two teeth on the bottom like this. And it locks in like that. That, that's, that provides a nice grip. Um, and you can actually hold the needle. You can essentially stab the needle and hold it f uh, firmly, apparently. I haven't done it yet. I just I, um, I decided to record the video, I guess. It should be, should be interesting just watch in a few years to watch me struggle, I guess. <laughs> um, I have practiced using the needle driver with both hands. Uh, we are expected to uh, open the locking mechanisms one-handed. Uh, left hand, I, I have some trouble. I think there's like an easy way. Oh, well, no, not that bad. Okay, right hand is fairly easy. Okay, let's see. I, okay. You provide. You, you basically put force uh, in the opposite direction of the serrated teeth. So the teeth are facing downwards, right? Uh, for this one, for this handle, the teeth is facing down. So I, I, I push it, I push it apart, basically. Push it apart. Uh, the principle is the same on the other hand. I just need to get a better handle of it. And I think the correct orientation to hold, to palm the needle driver is like this. It's very stable rather than putting your fingers through the hoops, which is apparently the wrong way of doing it. Let's see. Okay. Oh yeah, I, I guess I did it inadvert inadvertently. How did I do that? Oh, right. So it seems like I'm still pushing it, pushing and pulling. So I'm holding this side on with my left hand, I guess. I'm holding this firmly and pushing it with these fingers, pushing this up. Yeah, not too bad with the left hand as well. Yeah, pretty easy. And I guess I could... I should learn to be ambidextrous with my suturing, I guess. You can even do two at once, apparently. Uh, which direction? Okay. Same. Should be same. This one's a little smaller, I feel like. No? I don't know. It feel, the grip feels different. Very tight. Let me do this. Okay. Let me see if I have a different one. Case. Okay, it's fine. Okay, let's try to, I guess, load the needle, as they say. So I'll be attempting to hold the needle with just this. Addison's forceps. As I mentioned, they're the teeth. Let's see. Uh oh. Let me just watch the video again. And where on this curved pattern? Addison forceps. And this is where knowing where the double notched side is. I think the double notch important. 
the side goes underneath. Let's say so you hold it like this. Isn't loaded, and you have to pick this up off the ground. You can kind of see how I have it wedged right in between those teeth. Yeah, yeah I did it. Actually, pretty secure here, pretty and secure. it won't fall out yeah. easily. So I have a lot of control over the needle. It's not going to yeah. slip. Nice. And now I'm free to load it into my driver. Now, again, you really want to be mindful. Let me try that again. Things when That's pretty. I thought it'd be much harder, but okay. So yeah, I'm using my left hand, my non-dominant hand, to grip. Oh, I, I guess I really do have to be mindful of which direction the teeth are. So the two, the two prong side is away from me, facing away from me. And let me see if I can. No. Okay. Switching hands. Not too bad. As you can see, the suture is attached to the needle. It's kind of sticky. It almost, I don't know. Not interesting. Let's see. Kind of delicate. Is there, I don't know if there's a proper way to pick it up. Okay. Now it's ready to be loaded. Let me see. Okay, loading the needle for the first time. Okay, I don't know why I'm so anxious. It's, it's like literally the lowest stake situation. <laughs> uh, let me let me see how they do it in the video. You're loading, but I would argue they're very very important. As you look at your needle, you're going to have a lot of different types that you're loading, but they're all going to more or less be in this curved pattern. Hmm. You are free to load the needle anywhere on this curved pattern and there's benefits and um, obstacles that occur with your positioning depending on where you choose to load it now just to start we're just going to load it in the middle just for simplicity simplicity's sake and basically all you do is you hold it with your forceps in your off hand you open it up the needle driver in the way that we discussed and you just load it at the tip oh no like so I fucked up and then you lock um, it in place yeah I, I for some reason i couldn't lock it in important that you put it on the tip interesting for some reason i couldn't lock it once i was holding it once i was driving it uh, i wasn't expecting the resistance when locking in let me try again from the ground so delicate oh wow okay two-prong side away from me. I think that's the optimal way of doing it. I'm not too sure. This is a lot harder than I thought. Or, yeah. Of course, in the operating scenario, everything needs to be sterile, so you can't really grab anything with your hands, nor would it be wise to just grab a needle with your hand. I was able to do it last, just a while ago. Is this secure? I don't know. I, I don't feel safe. I don't feel like I'm holding it safely. There has to be like some better way. Let me try with my right hand. I don't think that's... I don't think the dominant, dominant hand is the issue. Should I just load it like this? I don't know. Let me see how they did it in the video. Although this guy's a pro. And again, so who you may know your own needle driver probably do is you'll have to load the needle driver. Now, sometimes the scrub tech may hand you it loaded, but you want to be prepared for being able to load your own needle driver for a number of reasons. Number one, you may not have someone hand it to you. And number two, someone who hands it to you may not have loaded it properly. So this is where everything kind of comes together and again See, it's not secure. I'm not being I'm, I'm not able to hold it very securely. That's that's dangerous. So it's very interesting. I thought I thought it'd be much easier. It looks much easier on the videos. But yeah, like I said it's 
you're trying to essentially use like little tweezers to pick up a tiny flat needle. Not sure if there is. I guess that's a good good way to grip it. And I hate my camera, it's focus is terrible. What's it even focusing on? Okay, so I got my needle driver locked, unlocked. Let's apparently there's um, I'm allowed to load it anywhere in the curve. Let's try the one third here. How do I? I guess I should do it like 90 degrees. There's probably some. See, I'm, I'm facing that. Um, oh, there we go. I, I just had to use some more force with my palm. Nice, I did it. Okay, now it's very secure. I can palm it. Oh no, wait, I didn't do it. Did I? Okay, I gotta be careful with the actual suturing so it doesn't uh, get in the my way. Okay. I don't know, it's kind of coming in my way. Okay, uh, so we have the needle. Okay, let me practice transferring it back and forth. I need to master the basics essentially before I try suturing. Okay, I have a good grip. Yeah, I can even do this. Okay, let's try to unlock. Oh, that's a big shock. Okay, okay, still, still secure. Okay. I don't know. This is gonna be a boring video. <laughs> I don't know who would watch it. Like I said, it's mainly for me. I'll probably timestamp. Timestamp. Progress. Did I? No. I wonder if I use too much force. If I'll kink. Put kinks in the needle. Okay. Delicate. Gently. Gently. Oops. No. Okay. I need to add some force, I guess. There we go. Needle's loaded. Suture's ready. And I'm ready to drive it, I guess. Uh, let me try one more time and then I'll try it on the skin. Okay, so load it on the Addison's forceps. Gently unlock. Okay. This is working okay. Let me try with the other hand. Gently put it back. Now I'll be using the needle driver with my left hand and the Addison's forceps on the other. Um, this is my dominant hand, so I don't expect too much trouble. I think it's it's kind of finicky. It's a weird needle. I guess I need to get the angle right. There we go. Nice. Let's try that again. From a different angle, maybe this time. What if I hold it from the middle? Which is oh, oh, maybe at the edge. Maybe that's. Ooh, that, I don't know. It's kind of ambitious. Damn it. It's so tiny. Oh, that's no good. There has to be like a simpler way. I, I, I feel like I'm overcomplicated. Complicating just. Uh, using the forceps, there has to be like easier. Let's angle it. Open it up. I guess that's good enough. Not too rough. Or just hold the suture. I guess. Okay, let's load it. Okay. I'm able to unlock it with only my left hand. Just fine. Again. Unlock, lock. Oops. Uh, oh no, I might have locked it too much. Locked too hard. Okay. That's okay. I can do it. I think I can do it. Damn. I... Okay, there we go. I gotta be careful. Yeah. Left hand is... Left hand feels a little harder. Because I'm pushing with my weaker fingers. Okay. Okay, let's, let's do the loading part again. 
firm and secure. Okay, left hand. Needle driver unlocked. Let's load it. Uh, about here. Halfway, maybe? One third. Okay, and then block it, I guess. Make it perpendicular. I'm just making the angle right. Locked. Okay, I can let go now. Oh, shit. Uh, I guess if this is left handed, I don't want to do it like this. I want to flip it around. So let's. I guess this is good practice to use the forceps again. And be comfortable. Oh, no, no, no. Gotta be careful. Okay. I think the best strat is using the two pronged side away from me, facing away from me. I think. Okay. It's stuck again. Yeah, I'm not good at my with my left hand to open the open this shit. Yeah. Seriously. Okay, you know what? Uh, let me try the other side. Okay, uh, firm. Come on. Hitting the ass to uh, unlock the needle driver one handed with my non dominant hand. Unfortunately, I'm trying. I want to be ambidextrous. Okay, maybe. Shit. You're embarrassing. Jesus Christ. How do, how do I even do this? Okay, forget the needle. Let me just hold the suture just in case the needle goes flying or something, some freak accident. Okay, there we go. Do, do, am I doing it too tightly? What's wrong? Okay. Yeah, man, it's hard. Doing it left-handed is harder for me. That's expected, though. Okay, let's load it again with the left hand. Oh, shit, I did it too tightly. I don't know. This feels terrible. Maybe I'm not ready for this yet. I'll just stick with one hand for now. And then once I get good with one, I'll swap to the other. Okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm sticking with right-handed for my uh, needle driver for now. Okay. Which means... Let's do... There you go. Nice and easy. Needle driver is set. About one-third way in. Angle it just right. Ready. Needle loaded and ready. Nice. So yeah, right hand is no problem. It's just the left hand. Is, I'm still getting used to uh, operating the needle driver one-handed. So you see how important it is because your other hand is busy with this. Okay. okay. Let's unload this. so much easier when the two oops yeah it's so much easier to uh, operate when the two pronged thing is away from me the two prong on the addison's four cents okay so let's see what's next on the video just because this is the way i'm making decent progress i thought this would take me a lot longer but yeah it's, it's a lot harder than it looks trust me <laughs> for a, for a beginner like me or structures you want the needle to be on the end just so it's as easy to use as possible oh yeah yeah that's a good point the video i'm watching just mentioned that i should load the, the where you load on the needle driver actually matters the further up that's less uh, i guess let me show you okay let's load it oh, that was so much easier this time so if i bite it at the tip Maybe here. Yeah, like biting it just at the edge. 
just at the edge rather than inside, like more inside of the needle driver. Uh, that provides less interference, I guess, once you're driving it into like delicate tissue and stuff. Then you don't have much skin to bite in. Bite in. But yeah, okay. Uh, let's put it back. Let's put safe. Let's, let's unload it safely. Very nice. Okay. Okay, let's finish this video. Stuck in these loops. But you also have the choice, obvious, as manipulating how you load the needle. It's important in your training now to just be very, very aware of your different options. Further back here, for this. A big through, yeah. The back, the needle, will kind of dictate how much tissue you can drive the needle away from you because of the orientation of Okay, the yeah, so basics. So if I'm right-handed like this, I'm holding the needle driver. Um, I want the hook, the, the needle's hook to face like this inside so I can drive it like this. So the hook will be like this, driving through. And if I'm left-handed, the hook will be like this, right, like this. Okay, that makes sense. And I guess, yeah, and other thing they mentioned was where I load the needle. So it's like this, where I load the needle. Okay, if, if, if it's just the middle, I, I only get this much to bite, it, bite into the flat, into the skin, right? Versus like at the edge, I get this whole thing, whole area to bite. Okay. Uh, I think I'm ready to start. Yeah, and I guess I already practiced bigger bites. Practiced uh, unloading and manipulating the needle once it's already loaded. So I'm I'm pretty comfortable with the tools for now. The basics. Loading it more close, or you can do in whatever way that you want. Okay. And you'll be okay. Now we can start practicing. Loading the needle. The next step, just like in real life, once you've loaded your needle, is that you're actually going to start throwing some sutures. Okay. Okay. We are going to throw some sutures tonight. Okay. Making good progress. Let's load the needle again as I get ready. Okay. Very good. Now that I have an idea of where to load, picking it up is not too bad again. Let me try that one-handed because I, I, uh, I got scared at the end there. Let's try again. Okay, unlock, prepare. I'm doing it right at the edge. And then lock. Okay, very nice and secure. Let's try that again. Unlock. Needle is in place. Very secure. I choose my location. And I lock. Okay, very good. Okay, making good progress. Okay, gotta be mindful. This is this is a real needle, by the way. <laughs> be comfortable doing that before you start. Now, this is gonna seem kind of silly and pretty uh, pretty low key of me to do this, but I stand by is and not really well, kicker. You don't. There's no sterile issues here. Um, when you're working with raw poultry or pork, you kind of have to be mindful of what you're touching and cleaning your tools. And also, it costs money uh, to keep buying them. You have to keep it refrigerated. It's not very practical for the volume of practice that I would recommend that you get. Now, already, Maybe even the, issue, the issue I'm seeing is uh, the, the actual suture. Like the, the one I have right now, it's kind of tangled, okay? and it's kind of getting in my way. I don't know how I would alleviate that. Maybe, maybe around my pinky or something. Maybe I'll move it away with, with my pinky. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. I'm sure I'll learn as I go. This is of course the day one kind of experience. Time within your day where you can just practice manipulating the needle through something. Okay. And Quite frankly, the hardest part isn't actually working with the skin. It's 
driving your needle through something, picking it up on the other side, and then using the tools within the confines of having to suture something. Yeah. That is what you have to make muscle memory, and it's very hard to do that okay. with pig's feet because it's just not easy to do it in very high volume, nor is it practical. So what I would recommend is trying to do something like this and once you get really, really good with the towel, feel free to buy pig's feet as much as you want. And my personal recommendation actually is to buy pork belly because it's large, it's flat, there's a lot of area, and you actually can use the pork mm. belly after you cut Still the, the video. that you've been practicing suturing on uh, to yeah, cook this, with. This person is just saying the, pork belly the hardest belly. obstacle to get started is if you're not a vegetarian. The, the muscle memory of driving the driving driving through the wound, now, picking it up, going back and forth, the back and forth. At hand. So we've practiced okay. handling our tools. We're comfortable doing that. We know how to load our needle driver here, and we have everything ready to go. Again, with our forceps, we're mindful of where the teeth are because we're going to be using this to manipulate things. And we've loaded uh, the needle kind of in more or less perpendicular in the middle because the bites we're taking aren't too large here. And as we start practicing, really all we're going to do, and again, when you're doing this at home, you should be doing this standing up, straight back. And it's difficult, I know, to start, but that's how you're going to do it in the operating room. Okay. I'm leaning in because of the camera, but don't pick this up as a bad habit because you will get in trouble and actually, you really will hurt your back if you're always hunched over like this. But anyway, I'm not going to kind of scared. all of the wonderful suture <laughs> videos that already exist online. I'll link them in to show you the different types. It's not too hard to grip. Throw. But the point is that with your towel, this is what you want to be practicing. It's a lot, yeah, it's a lot very, it's very soft. You want to be mindful of okay. the hem here, and you can use it as a target where you kind of want to expose things with your forceps clearly and then just drive it through and make sure that you're using not um, not your too much of your wrist to push but more your wrist to rotate and then you can just practice rotating through and throwing and this is really what you need the most practice doing is unlocking okay so yeah the big obstacle seems to be um just getting into the habit of throwing essentially so we what do i do again uh okay so i use my addison's forceps to kind of gently manipulate the side i'll be working on first so right side, I'll be entering the right side, exiting in the open space, and then entering the left side of the skin. Okay, And I'll be using this to both manipulate the skin and also reload the needle once I'm on the other end. So let's just try it. Okay, no more. Oh, okay, <laughs> this is exciting. Uh, okay, my first time driving the needle, I guess. Uh, oh, right, right. Uh, I've got to be careful of my posture. You're not allowed to be hunched over. I don't know how deep to go. Uh, let me just go pretty deep. Okay. Oh, oh, I see it. I see it. Oh, this is exciting. Uh, this is a damage in my camera socks. I'll probably buy a new camera. Oh, 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 oh. Pretty deep, pretty deep. oh, I see it on the other end. Okay, okay. It's coming out. Now, I'm not sure if I'm supposed to. Uh, oh, shit. I don't know. Again, this is my first attempt. I don't know if I did it right. I think I, I think I dug too deep, or I exited too late, or something. Uh, but let me let me still follow through. Let me try to follow through. I want to try. This is fun. Oh, oh, holy shit! Holy shit! Ah! So excited. Okay. Let me reload the needle. Careful, careful not to let go. Okay. Okay, 
So let's see what you're going through. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Holy shit, that was my first time. I guess they call it driving the car? I don't know. I don't know if I did it right, but that was interesting. So, uh, okay, let's look. Uh, I don't know if the camera can pick it up. It's pretty bad. Let me bring the camera closer. Holy shit, look at the bad focus of this camera. I think my phone would be better. Damn, yeah, the camera is terrible, especially for these low, uh, delicate, narrow things. The suture is, it's not even visible to the camera much. If you can see this black, let me move this out of the way. Okay. Mm. Man, the camera sucks. As you can see, the, the the string thing, that's the suture. So I drove it through here. Uh, let me use my, uh, okay, I gotta be careful not to hurt, hurt myself. So I drove here in this location. So bad, oh my God, the camera is so bad. Okay, so I drove it here. Uh, let me see if I can get an overhead. Kind of mediocre so already I see some issues so I drove it here the distance spacing seems okay like this much gap from the wound this much gap from the I don't know if this is too much or too little this, again this is my first time suture so I don't know it's probably gonna it's I probably have to do it much uh, more closer to the wound I'll try it again in my second attempt but it's kind of weird angle it's it's like diagonal it's not parallel to the uh, it's not perpendicular to the wound, if that makes sense. Uh, if you can see the... Shit, this camera sucks again. Yeah, the, the suture is kind of underneath, if you can see. I don't know. Let me... Can you see the skin? No, the camera just sucks. But yeah, it, it's... Take my word for it. It's, it's just diagonal. It's not good. I think the next time I record, I'll probably either get a new camera or um, just record it with my phone or something. Yeah, yeah. It was okay. Uh, I don't know. I guess it was decent to have, decent to um, get my reaction to the first time suturing. I guess. Then you can use it as a. Okay. Let's see. Okay. Let me see what what to do after this. Okay, so the video I'm watching, they, they seem to be uh, driving the needle very close to the wound and opening up very close to the wound again on the other end. Okay. Just drive it through and make sure that you're using this to push, but more your wrist to rotate. And okay, and the depth, I think I went... A little, I don't know if the depth is okay, but I definitely need to get the hang of uh, driving adequate. I don't know, there's like a finesse to it. You gotta drive it with enough force and also maintain like this kind of arc through the wound. Throwing. And this is really what you need the most practice doing is unlocking, locking, getting tangled with your suture, reloading things as you go through the skin and pulling it through. And again, it's not going to be pretty every single time and it's not going to necessarily be perfect, but you can practice kind of doing these steps over and over again okay. with something that's I, sterile, with something that's cheap. Yeah, okay. So I think for today, I won't drag on for too long. I won't do the simple interrupted sutures just yet, maybe tomorrow. Uh, but let me just practice a bit more, this driving uh, muscle memory type thing. Okay, so it seems, okay, so yeah, I'm basically, uh, yeah, pulling the suture through the wound. Gotta be careful not to stab myself as I do that or point it at some other uh, colleague of mine. <laughs> okay, let's try that again, so I'm pulling Let's try. Let's try to get a better angle this time. Relatively close. Okay. 
and then on this side let me try and doing doing it in two two go there are like different ways of doing it apparently so so there's there's one okay locked so i'm driving it driving it driving it okay Oh no, okay, okay, this is kind of scary. Let's open up the skin a bit. Yeah, I want to do it kind of low this time, hopefully. And I gotta take a guess at the depth. No, that's too shallow. Come on, where is it? Maybe here? Oh, no, 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 shit. Is that enough? I think that's too close to the edge. Let's find out, though. Okay, drive it, drive it, drive it. Very good. Reload it. Okay, this is... I don't know, maybe it's just because I'm new to it. It's stressing me out for some reason. Okay, I think this was better. Let's measure it. Let's measure my uh, distance, I guess. Yeah, okay, this one's better. This one's definitely better, but it's still diagonal. I guess that's my issue. Uh, let me straighten it up. Again, I'll probably get a new camera like tomorrow or something. Something better. Shoot. Okay, small distance. Hmm. It's okay. Actually, before getting the camera, I'll probably use try try using my phone. Maybe that'll be better. I don't know. Okay. What's next? Cutting the needle, do all of the work. I'm adding through. Before I unlock, I'm using my my Adsen forceps yeah. to hold on to the needle. Then I unlock, and as I pull it through, I can start loading the needle. Okay, so I got some more pointers, so let's try again. Okay, let's try again. Yeah, I'm definitely sloppy, but that's expected for a first time, I guess. Okay, this time I'll do a more shallow one, more shallow. So I think I dug too deep. Too far. And how do I even control it? Because it's it goes uh, out of sight. And now the angle is fucking up. I guess I loaded it wrong. Damn. Let me retry. See? Yeah. It's kind of like it's not perpendicular. Let's try gently. Okay. okay. Let me take a big bite. I don't see it. Wow, okay, that's a lot of resistance. Where is it? I think it went too deep. Yeah, I went too deep. Fuck. Okay, this is gonna take a lot of finesse, I think. Uh, let's try taking it closer to me. Okay, let's try again. Gently. Okay, that's a good depth. Okay. Was that too shallow? Oh, I don't know. Let's try. Okay. Damn, this okay. I gotta be. I gotta make this like my second nature in two years. I have to. Good news is I have time, but uh, it's it's not as easy as I thought it would be. Oh, okay, that's a nice one. Okay, that looks nicer. That looks way nicer. I wonder if my camera will pick it up this time. So 
So yeah, uh, it, it's uh, ignore the diagonal lines. These two diagonal lines. And this camera sucks. You can faintly see it now, I guess. But you know, yeah. Uh, yeah. This time it looks very parallel. It goes along this line. And the camera sucks. <laughs> and I'm gonna say it again and again. Yeah. It's a decent webcam, but that's about it. I'm not very good at picking up details. Okay. Let me let me see if I can keep going. Okay. Okay, let's keep going. I'll be loading it through here. Let's do this. Okay, so holding the skin with my Addison's forcep actually makes it easier to drive the needle. That actually makes sense now why people do that. Of course they do. They wouldn't do it otherwise. Okay, I can see it. Oh no, I went too deep, too far. I don't know if that's too far or not. Plus, I think I fucked up the angle. Let's try to grab the needle. Yeah, it seems like the angle I hold it in matters a lot in the difficulty of throwing the sutures. Shit. And also depth perception. Okay, blocked. Let's try. I think this will be a good one. Looks pretty good. Let's try again. I'll, I'll go through the whole line, basically. To see how it works out. And then tomorrow I'll actually do simple interrupted sutures. Okay. Or maybe I'll take one more day practicing just throwing. Let me try doing it two bites. Oops. You know, that's something you don't want to say in the ER. Oops. Oh, no, 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 no. This is way too shallow. This is way too shallow. No good, no good. Pull back, pull back, pull back. Okay, so it seems... Okay, I think I'm getting the hang of it. Of um, of the depth I am expected to uh, throw through to drive through. Okay, yeah, this is good. Okay, good enough. And I'll do it in one shot. Very good. Too slow, but it's okay. It's okay because I'm just. Oh no, 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 no. I pinched the skin. <laughs> Oops. Instead of stabbing the needle with my forceps, I stabbed the skin. Okay. That looks good. I think. Oh shit. I forgot to reload. So much to learn. And but it's okay. Again, day one. Hopefully I don't make these mistakes in four years, two years. Okay. Okay, very good. So far, so good. Um, I'm, I'm just going to keep throwing until I reach the end, as I mentioned. So pretty good progress so far. Okay, hold the skin. Drive through. This time, I'm going to actually do it in two goes. So 
I'll drive the needle out. Reload on this side. And now the issue is there's a lot of suture that's slack and it's getting in my way. I hope I hope I don't fuck up. How do people do this? Holy shit. Okay. Um let's see. Okay, okay, um fuck. Let's try see my depth. Depth of field maybe? The needle, I don't see it. Oh shit, I went too far. Okay. I don't think this one is a good one. Yeah, I'm not very good at doing it in two goes, I guess. Because it fucks up with the depth. Ideally, you want to bisect the wound equally on both sides. Oh no, I, shit, I let go of the needle. I gotta get better with this, for sure. Good news is there's a lot to lot to improve on. <laughs> It'll take me a while. Okay. Okay. Reload. Okay, very good. This one was okay. Okay. I'm not too happy with the sides. Okay, it's fine. Let's keep going. Oh no, I fucked up too. Um, yeah, my posture isn't as good. Like, how am I supposed to do this upright? Because this thing is supposed, like, I guess I'm supposed to do it um, with my, I don't know. You're not allowed to hunch over, apparently. And I just realized my posture was bad. Let's try that again. Man, those stupid sutures getting in my way again. Try it again this time. Okay, now for the other side. This thing is dug in too much. Let's just go with it though. That looks too much. This thing is dug in too much. Stupid tangles. Ah, oh, oh no. This sucks. This suck. <laughs> no, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. Don't tangle, don't tangle. Shit. Did I do it right? Here. Uh, sure this goes here. Okay. 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 So far, so good. Huh? It's interesting. I think every time I think that it's, I I, I, I dig in too much, too far away from the wound. It doesn't look as bad, I guess. After I finish, after I uh, tighten it. Oh, bad habit again. I'm hunching. But like, if I don't hunch, how will I know? I guess it just has to be muscle memory. Okay, drive. Huh, okay. That's not too bad, actually. Relying on muscle memory rather than just your vision. It's actually more rela it's, uh, better, I guess. Let's, let's do it this way.
Definitely getting, getting the hang of uh, reloading the needle and stuff. The basic techniques, I guess. Okay. It's not pretty. It's not looking pretty, that pretty. But again, for, for a first timer, I think it's pretty good. Let's try that. Again, be careful to keep my posture in mind and not hunch over. Okay, very good. Oops, gotta be careful, right? You know, these things just, with the spring loading and whatnot, this thing just goes flying. Okay, very good, almost done here. Just about two more maybe. Again, I don't know how it looks on the camera because it's so blurry. Probably not much to look at. <laughs> I'm sorry for the, if anyone's watching at this far in. Oh my god, the needle is completely fucked. I, I think I loaded it wrong. Okay, got to be tight. The angle has got to be right. Okay, I see it. Drive it all the way. Drive it. Okay, very good. Maybe one more. And we should be good. Oh, it's too far. That's good enough. Okay. Nice. It doesn't look that pretty, but I was able to practice the throwing mechanism several times. You can probably see faintly um, the sutures. Yeah, not that pretty, but uh, yeah, let's compare. So, the first one, this was the first one was fucked up. It enters, okay, let me orient it right to the camera. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's too blurry. I, I can't really commentate like this. But the first one basically went like this it went sideways rather than just vertical, you know? If you can uh, visualize this, yeah. Now, the first one I did terribly, right? Like this. And the second one, let's see. Second one from here to here. So it was pretty vertical. This one from here to here. It was kind of diagonal. It was, it was, this one was worse than the previous one. This one, I think it's more or less vertical. This one again. I, I think it's the orientation I'm standing at that's making me do diagonal ones. Once I start doing simple, like once I get the hang of that motion, that driving motion, I should be fine. Because it's, it's a lot harder than it looks. Because look at, look at how you're holding this. Yeah, this is a lot harder than it looks. Trust me. Uh, for a beginner, at least. Like, here's the needle. And you hold it, right? And you hold it. Uh, you gotta do like this kind of motion across the wound. And you, you need to get very creative with your wrist movement and the way you drive your with your index finger. You gotta be careful. And then you need to make sure you dig dig far deep enough, dig deep enough, and it needs to be like. Uh, nice and even semicircle as you drive through. Okay, 
Uh, I think so. I think that's how it's done. But uh, yeah, uh, how, how long did I practice for? Like an hour or something? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You gotta start somewhere, right? So yeah, this was day one. Progress. I threw one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. I did twelve throws. They're, they're not real sutures because, like, tomorrow I think I'll understand the simple interrupted suture technique and then um, go from there. Those ones you drive and then you do a little loop and then tie it up. And then to save my suture, I think what I'll do is I'll, un I'll tie it kind of loose and then uh, untangle it and then try again with the same amount of suture. Okay? So yeah. Uh, let's see, how do I even um, undo these? Do I just drive through or something? Let me try. This was decent practice, obviously. If I pull through, I guess it works. I think. It's kind of tight. I don't know if it's going to work. Uh, let me pull from the start. That way it's less tension. Okay. I don't really need the needle for this. So I'll unload it. Okay, I'm getting better at, definitely better at the basics at least. So that's something. I think for these I can use my hands. Okay. Oh, it's slippery. Holy shit, it's slippery. What kind of thing is it? It's a, it's a nylon monofilament, the one I'm using today. I have a whole pack of different kinds. And I guess I gotta eventually learn when to optimize and use which. You know? Interesting stuff. Medicine is fun. It's got an infinite skill ceiling. <laughs> Better than any video game I play. I'm squeezing it too much. The skin is taking damage. Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll leave this part in the video. It doesn't matter. No one's probably watching. It's okay. No one really wants to watch that. I got two down, two out of twelve untangled. Okay, let's try the sutures. I guess in real life, once you're done uh, using a little bit, you snip it, right? And then there are some sutures which automatically decompose, so you don't need to visit your uh, physician again. Oh no 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 no! Okay, I was pulling the wrong side. Oh yeah, I gotta be careful about the needle. Still a real needle. I don't wanna stab myself with it. Okay, I, I just have a few more left. <clears throat> Once I get comfortable with the pra practice kits, I think I'll maybe after a couple thousand or something, I'll try pig feet and then eventually real human human skin. Should be fun. Apparently pork belly is good for practice. And then I want to practice on different kinds of skin once I get really good to be gentle and just bite at the right amount, I guess. So yeah. I'll also do some research on um, optimizing how deep to go, when to do it and whatnot. When to do it for each um, body part, essentially. Since I'm gonna be a podiatrist, I I gotta make sure I get get the feet the, the stitching in the feet down. The foot's pretty interesting. It's got it's got everything. Yeah, 
six game thing screen. Oh, Freddy. Freddy underside. Protective underside. Yeah. I don't really see people on YouTube post their suturing, like the beginner suture. It's kind of embarrassing. You kind of know why they don't do that. <laughs> Who wants, you don't want to post embarrassing photos of yourself or something, right? It's kind of similar with suturing. And like, I guess it's not that exciting to watch either, right? It's just someone just <laughs> sewing. Like, would you watch your grandma? Uh, Show you a piece of cloth or a t shirt or something. I don't know, maybe it's artistic. Maybe. Oh, that'd be fun. Suturing um, like line art or something. I could probably draw with it. That'd be interesting. But I'd have to get really good at it. <laughs> really good at regular suturing before I attempt that. Kind of interesting. I just have, I think, two, one more, one or two more. Yeah. And I'm good. And I can reuse the skin, which is nice. Oh, gotta be careful. The needle is dancing around. Holy shit, it's so easy to tangle this thing. I fucking hate sutures. Uh, like the material, I love suturing the technique, but holy shit, this filament. Tangling and tangling. I gotta be careful I don't stab anyone with this end. Okay. Okay, we're done. Nice and clean. And ready for round two. Later. Okay. How do I store this away? I think I stab. Here? Or here? Or it's gonna go somewhere different. Mm. Nah, that looks too dangerous. Mm. Let's do it from the outside angle. Maybe that's better. I don't know. I don't know how to put away a suit in the fucking eagle. the same suture again and again, it's not that bad, it's pretty nice and cheap, okay, nice, put it back in the case, to keep things safe, okay, very good, and we're done. This is my kit from, um, I think, high school or maybe college, where you dissect frogs and shit like that, basic biology. I honestly, I did terribly in my bio courses, yet I'm in med school. <laughs> like, I love chemistry, I love physics, kind of hated bio. I kind of still hate a lot of the subjects I take, but it doesn't matter. You gotta do what you gotta do to be the profession. Or, you know, there's a lot of medicine just than just fucking basic bio, okay? Yeah. You gotta be a chemist first. And then know some basic physics. And the actual bio content isn't that in, uh, hard. The problem is in like high school or in undergrad, you're taught all this other crap, like fucking plants. Yeah, it's important. Yeah, Rubisco is important. Or carbon fixation and shit like that. Or, yeah, it's. It's like real life applications for a lot of physics issues, like how plants drive water to the top of, like tall plants, how they fight gravity and push water up to the top, different mechanisms and shit like that. It's kind of similar to, mm, there's some similarities in, in, in human physiology, capillary action and shit. Now in med school, I can go up, I can focus on actual humans. 
thing I'm actually interested in. So it's more fun. It's harder, but it's fun. Challenging and fun. Yes. Yeah. And I get to get paid stabbing people. <laughs> How wonderful is that? To make him better, of course. <laughs> Take care.